Hi, in this video, we are going to look at how to configure a Microtech router to send log system log messages to an external syslog server. Now, Microtech router out of the box logs system information to the, into the memory of the device. And you can see that by going to the log page as we have here, or as you can see here. Now, in the case of this Microtech router that we are using for this tutorial, you can see that there's been some logs that have been saved um, that you can look at as an admin, right? Part of the information you typically will get here will be the date and time the particular activity or log was, was stored. Um, also shows you the topic and then the message provides you more details on that. Now, for a lot of very small deployments, I mean, logs that you get saved to the device should be enough for you to be able to tell uh, exactly what probably has occurred over uh, a period. However, in some cases, you want to be able to export these logs to an external syslog server so that you can actually um, do some analysis and then produce some reports on activities that have gone on, on the Microtech router. Now, for the login to occur, there are rules that are actually set up, which you can actually find when you go to system login, right? Now, by default, critical error info and warning logs are stored on to memory, 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 and then also another action called echo, right? So you, there are actually actions that are configured against the different levels or the different uh, login levels. And depending on which login level it is, a certain action takes place. Now, for instance, if I have a cable connected in port 5 of my Microtech router, if I should go ahead to disconnect that, you realize that quickly we get the log here which says that the interface has gone down. If I should connect it back, you'll see that it tells us right there and there that the link has come up, right? So we get real-time logs on the system. But you'd actually have to log on to the Microtech and then come to the login site to be able to view this, right? Now, let's go ahead and configure the Microtech to now export logs to an external syslog server. Now, for the purposes of this demo, I have installed a free version of what we call the Syslog Watcher Manager, right? The initial configurations have been completed. I have configured this software, Syslog Watcher Manager, to listen on port 10, 10, 10, 254 on port 514, which is the default Syslog port. And then, as you can see, we have 10.10.10.1 as one of our Syslog originators. Of course, if you come here, you can confirm that that is the IP for our Microtech router. So let's go ahead and configure Microtech to export the login details to the external syslog server, which, of course, I have configured on my laptop. So the first thing we need to do is to configure the action, right? So let me name this external syslog right and then drop down out select remote right then in the remote address i need to add the ip address for the syslog server and as i showed earlier that will be on 10.10.10.254 we can either leave this leave this at 0.0.0, .0 which means that the syslog details will be expected from any ip you can also restrict it in our case i want to restrict it to 10.10.1 which is the ip of our microtech router right and i'm going to apply that and select ok now once i complete that i need to go to rules and then configure a rule so for instance i can configure a topic and say um, for anything info i need it log to our external syslog server right so once the login level of info is, um, is activated, right? The action will be to send that details or that information to our external syslog server. 
So I'm going to apply that and then say okay. I'll do same for say warning as well. Warning, and then external syslog server. Let me add another for error, right? And I think that will be enough for the purposes of the demonstration. So let's go error, and then we go syslog apply right and then hit okay so that is done so now let me go to my external syslog server and we can now demonstrate and see if we now receive same here so let me just confirm let me move this to a bit to the side so we can also see the micro tick login page right so i'm going to disconnect the cable on port 5 again right and then i'm going to connect it back that should trigger a syslog action um, let me refresh this page reload this page right so as you can see here you realize that the link went down right when I disconnected let me refresh this page and you realize that the link is also what is up now let's compare the details we have here to what we see here right so if you look at this syslog output okay let me squeeze this in here you realize that at 40332 40332 right the link actually came up right we have the corresponding log also here at 1603 right and then 1603 there right tells you that the log is being shipped as expected so it's actually logging locally on the box and then also being shipped to the external syslog server let me reload that again okay so as another way of demonstrating i'm going to move the cable from port 5 and then i'll move it to port 4 of the microtech router I'm going to refresh this again. You realize that now link 5 actually went down and then it moved towards to link 4. We tells you that the configuration that we did has taken effect and the logs are now being shipped to an external syslog server. So that is how you configure a microtech as an external uh, microtech to ship logs to an external syslog server. Thank you.